let's go through this and uh, what it tells it's pretty simple it tells you that you need to set up an environment variable which is called golem make sure that you've got the uh you know the letters right uh license it's uh, written the american way so it's a cns well the best is to copy this anyway and uh to make that environment variable set to where your license is so i'm gonna um just uh put my license i just downloaded i'm gonna put it into uh c golem whatever so let me just uh, copy it from my other screen i'm uh kind of uh, taking the license here and just copying it into C Golem and we'll browse into this later. Great, so if we need to create an environment variable, we'll need to go into the system. We can uh, start typing edit the system environment variables and uh, we're end up with the system properties from uh, Windows. You can see that at the bottom here, you can uh, go into environment variables and here it's gonna list for you uh, all the variables which have been set by maybe third-party softwares or maybe on your uh, from your uh, administration or your studio administration if you're working from a studio. So what we want to do is to create a new one. As I said, we want to call that li that um, uh, variable golem underscore license. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to create it just for my user. Um, it depends the kind of admin rights you have on your computer. So here I just do it for myself, but you could do it from your own computer from here. You just go into new. It's going to ask you two stuff, the name of the variable, the value of the variable. So this is exactly what's written into the documentation. The name is going to be golem underscore license and the value will be my file. So uh, rather than copying the file and uh, what you can do is just browse your file, go into where your license is. So C Golem, I have my license that I just downloaded from uh, the website and I can just press OK. And now I'm having a Golem underscore license entry, which has the pass to my license. So it means that if your license moves uh, or if you rename it, make sure that you rename that variable uh, value. So it's, um, you know, it follow what's being uh, just uh, defined here. Uh, I'm going to probably say OK here on some system. Sometimes you may have to reboot uh, your Windows uh, session uh, because Windows doesn't always apply environment variables. But if you're sure that uh, work well, now you can start Maya. And uh, when you start it, you, should, you shouldn't have that uh, lock icons anymore, um, which tells you you were in TLE. Also, uh, please take uh, into attention that all the scenes we've been doing so far, um, do scenes here are contaminated. So even if you open it with, uh, you know, a commercial license now, uh, you will still get the watermarks. The reason for that is if we, if we don't do this, we will have studios using the learning license for, you know, months, making all their shots and just renting the software for just one week, just the time to render their sequences. So as you can guess, this is not something which is viable for us. Uh, so this is the reason the scene is contaminated uh, for like, not forever, but uh, even if you have a commercial license, uh, it's it's still contaminated. It doesn't change that status. So you need to restart your scene and uh, re-export your caches from scratch to get started. And